I'd like to introduce you to the Max 635G. The Max 635G is the world's first handheld GDOT fast test set. The Max 635G allows operators to test their physical twisted pair copper network, sync, and verify their VDSL2 and ADSL2 deployments, and now test their GDOT fast deployments. To validate service performance once sync is achieved, the Max 635G supports simple ping and trace route but also now supports a powerful throughput testing via the OOKLA speed test powered option. We also support IPTV and VoIP analysis options on the MAX 635G. Now let's take a look at the physical aspects of the MAX 635G. The MAX 635G offers a sunlight viewable 6 inch touchscreen display which allows users to easily navigate through the unit. Users can also navigate via the integral keypad. The Max 635G offers a number of different ways to connect to the circuit. For copper testing, technicians can use the color-coded banana connectors. For DSL and GFAST testing, customers can perform testing over the RJ11 interface or over the color-coded banana connectors. In addition to DSL testing, the Max 635G offers a 1 gigabit Ethernet WAN interface for connectivity to available Ethernet ports on the customer's modem, residential gateway, or even an optical network termination or ONT device. Whether DSL, GFAST, or 1 gigabit Ethernet WAN testing, users can also connect the Max 635G to the subscriber's PC, VoIP phone, or IPTV set-top box via the 1 gigabit LAN interface. Finally, the Max 635G has been designed for IP54 rating, which means it is water and dust resistant, which is a great advantage for those technicians operating outside in inclement weather. Powering on the unit is extremely fast when you use the standby mode of the Max 635G. Within two or three seconds, you are ready to start testing. This is the home menu, offering access to copper and DSL applications, access to Wi-Fi scanning capability, access to Expo's cloud-based solution called Expo Connect, and general system settings for language, date time, software options, and software version numbers, including tech support contact details. Let's look at a few of the key features of the Copper Test application. Either tapping the screen or using the keypad, we can access the Copper Test application. We have on the top row our key auto scripts to provide users with the key measurement results evaluated against pass-fail criteria, such as our auto test scripts like pair detective, fault mapper. We also have access to our multimeter. The multimeter option allows access to key electrical measurements such as voltage, resistance, isolation resistance, capacitance, and stress balance. These measurements are very fast providing measurement information in continuous or snapshot formats. The noise test allows a technician access to our noise-based tests for voice band and wideband. An example would be our wideband power spectral density test, which allows access to tests out to 35 megahertz. The frequency test icon allows access to the measurements that will allow a technician to do transmitting and receiving tests. An example here would be the wideband attenuation test providing access out to 35 megahertz. For those customers looking for fault location via a TDR, time domain reflectometer, the Max 635G offers that capability in both an automatic where we purposely look for a fault that exists on the line and purposely display that in the middle of the screen with a cursor at that particular point. Of course, if users prefer more manipulation, more power, more control in the TDR, we certainly offer the manual TDR capability. For those users that are looking for resistive fault location or RFL testing, the Max 635G makes that very simple. We include within the RFL test suite the capabilities of doing a single pair RFL test, a separate good pair RFL test, in addition to a K test. The Max 635G also offers the capability for users to manipulate the settings 
of the copper tests. And these can be uh, found under the test configuration as well as under the test setup icon. Now let's discuss the DSL test application. Once you access the DSL test application, you'll have access to a number of different types of measurements. This is our DSL main menu. From here, we have access to our auto test, which allows you to sync to the DSLAM or to the DPU if it's a GFAST application to achieve synchronization with that particular device so you can understand what is or what are the upstream and downstream negotiated data rates. You will then be able to log in to your internet service provider and from there do additional testing like such as the ping, trace route, or even the UCLA speed test in terms of looking at throughput connectivity for a particular port. For those users that wish to have a little bit more control, we have the manual test where again you would sync to the DSLAM or the DPU in the case of GFAST. You would then be able to connect up to your ISP and from there do your ping test, trace route test or even again looking at the UCLA speed test for throughput testing for that particular customer as well as IPTV and VoIP tests. In certain situations you may want to connect up to an Ethernet interface whether it's the Ethernet interface of a DSL modem, a residential gateway, or even an optical network termination unit, or ONT. This allows us to synchronize via the Ethernet WAN port on the MAC 635G, and from here, connect up to the ISP, and again, similar to the DSL tests and GFAST tests, allows access for that technician to be able to run their ping test, the trace route test, the UCLA speed test powered solution, as well as IPTV and VoIP testing. Thank you for watching this Max 635G video capsule. For more video capsules, please visit expo.com. Thank you.